Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to model shell elements in Fem Design software. You can find all the shell elements from here. We have plane plate, profile plate, timber plate, plane wall, profile wall, and timber wall. We also have a couple shell components here: wall corbel and post tension cable for shells. For each of these types, plane plate and plane wall, the uh, starting settings are pretty much the same. The only difference between these is that plane walls or wall elements here can be only modeled in a vertical direction, like here. You will set the starting and the ending point, but from the default settings, everything is the same even though other one is a wall and other one is a plate. So we will only look settings through this plate here. So for the plates, uh, modeling is pretty easy. With the define tool, you can just set the thickness of your plate, uh, plane plate and alignment and edge connections. I'm just going to click into my model and now I have a plane plate in my view. Uh, I also have a couple options here for modeling. I can also model circular, I can also make polygonal, and I can also just pick lines or pick existing region. For circular, for this example, you just draw it like this. I can also make holes with this tool to my plane plate. First, I just click my plate and then I can start drawing the hole in my plane plate. So it's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. And next we can check the edge connection tool. With edge connection you just click the plate and then you click the edge you want to modify. Here you can see that the edge connection uh, window pops up and we have first general tab where you can set the identifier for your edge connection and then we have data tab where you can set all the necessary parameters or starting parameters for your edge connection. And here you can also select some pre-saved uh, edge connections. Then we have profile plate. Modeling profile plate is pretty much the same than plane plate. Although when you are uh, modeling profile plate, you will also have uh, settings for panels. Whenever I change from uh, general here, I change analytical model uh, to be panels, then I can go to panel tab and here I can set the connection connections for those panels between the panels too. Otherwise, if I select this to be continuous, here you can see that I cannot modify because there is no panels in my analytical model. Here you will also have a few different options. You have panel type identifier, you can change the gap between your panels, and you can ignore the distance in transverse stiffness calculation here, and you will also have camper simulation by pre-threshing. Pre and you can also change the eccentricity of your uh, profile plate or wall, but this is only for display purposes. Now I'm going to model my plate here. Oh, sorry, I press it again. Let's go back. I choose to define and by clicking here, I show the direction. Then I start modeling here like this. And now what I need to do is show where the cap will be between these panels. So if by pressing here again, I can see that the panels appear on my analytical model. And all the tools are still same than for the plane plate, although I have one new tool here, which is change direction, if I want to change the direction for these panels here. Next, we are gonna check the timber plate. Modeling timber plane plate is pretty much same than 
profile plate. Although when opening uh, default settings, you can see that some of the parts that was in profile plate are missing in a timber plate. Uh, we have in general tab, we have identifier, we have model where we can still change the physical model, uh, panel type identifier, width of panel and cap between panels. And also we can change the analytical model to be panels or continuous. And also we have uh, eccentricity option here. For the materials, we only have timber materials here. And same for the border as the previous one. And if we choose the analytical model to be panels, we also have connection types for the panels. And the modeling tool for timber plate is same like this. And for the plane wall and profile wall timber wall, the default settings are all the same. All the, only the difference is that all the walls can only be uh, modeled in a vertical direction. So this was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.